faux bear fan. So one of the things that I am currently working on is writing a little bit more about money because it's something that I have a lot of interest in personally and I also think it's something that people don't know enough about. And so I wanted to make a quick video. I'm actually, it's like a Thursday night. I get paid tomorrow. So I am updating my budget for the next budget period, which I do my budgets from each pay period that I get. So every time I get paid, a new budget starts. Uh, I get paid bi-monthly. So I get two paychecks a month. One, and it's not like the, some people get paid like the 15th and the 30th. Um, mine is just every two weeks on a Friday, I get paid. So I've got some, this is barefoot Cabernet Sauvignon. So <laughs> I might get some like red wine lips going on here. Um, but anyway, I figured as I'm getting ready to do this, why not share it with you guys uh, and kind of narrate the process for how I update my budget because the thing I want to show you is once you already have a budget in place and you've been doing it for so long, it doesn't take very long to update your budget every time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll throw up some uh, screenshots as well and uh, we're gonna, let's just get to it. So, all right, so I keep everything that I work with in my Google Drive because the budget that I use, I update every time I spend money. Uh, so, and I don't use any of the apps. A lot of people use apps. I don't really like using apps for my budget. I like doing it the old fashioned way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my budgeting folder, pick the year and select the last month's first budgeting period budget. Does that make sense? So my last first period of the month budgeting period, God, that is a fucking handful. I think it's time for a drink. That would be the first pay period. The reason I picked the first pay period of the month to start my next one is because I'm going into the first pay period of my next month. So the way I determine that is, is this is the pay period in which I pay rent out of. And it's also the one that my student loans are coming out of. So I take a huge hit at the beginning of every month. So anyway, uh, I am going to click on the last one, which started on 228. Today is 326, um, and I'm just gonna make a copy of that bad boy and put it in a new file because it is now going to be April's budgeting period. So my months don't really align with the same like dates that I have for each of my budgets because like even though I'm setting an April budget, it has some days in March because of how I get paid which is fine because that's how my life goes. So, all right, we're gonna copy that and it's bringing me to a new budget. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there and just change all the dates. So this budgeting period is gonna go from 327 to three, or nope, four, four, uh, nine. So from March 27th tomorrow till April 9th. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna move this around so I can see it beyond the camera. <laughs> all right, so the reason that I copy these is because it's a good reminder of all the things that come out at the beginning of every month. So I know that every month my rent's gonna come out, so I'm just gonna update my number here to be the amount of my rent, which has increased because I just moved out on my own and so now I have to pay the full rent. <laughs> All right, so groceries are generally the same every pay period, but since we are in coronavirus land, I might up it. See, this is the fun part is where I debate and negotiate with myself on how much money I'm gonna spend on each different wine item. Let me grab the wine. And I personally believe that wine is essential to your budgeting because it's fun. <laughs> um, so groceries, I'm going to leave it at a hundred bucks for the next two weeks because I already have a lot of dry goods and rice, like the rice and the beans and all of those things. I just need some produce each week and I'm set on wine too. So, uh, clover expenses. I don't think I'm going to really have any for the next two weeks. Uh, 
health medical. I don't have anything that comes out for the next two weeks, so knock on wood. Hopefully I don't have any medical expenses. Transportation, <laughs> I'm gonna put zero because I'm not going anywhere while coronavirus is happening. And my grocery store is in within walking distance, so um, I will have zero transportation expenses, which is great because usually I spend like 50 bucks every two weeks, so that's a savings there. Thanks, coronavirus. Just kidding, please don't take me seriously. I'm, I'm not actually thinking coronavirus. Okay, personal is where like all my random shit comes out. Like I know I need to purchase, ooh, actually I do have a health medical expense. I am running out of allergy medication, which is expensive as fuck because I usually buy a whole year's worth and it is coming to that time. So I'm actually gonna put $50 in my health and medical. Okay, back to personal. Personal is where I do things like makeup, body lotion, uh, I can only think of like personal items, but it's other stuff too. When I just want to buy this one thing that I decided I really, like a plant. I've been wanting to buy a plant. I'm just going to put 20 bucks in there. Usually I put it at 50, but since coronavirus is happening, I don't really feel like I'm going to need that much stuff. Uh, so we'll see. My utilities and cell phone bill. So it's set at 215 because I believe my cell phone bill is going to come out of this. What is usually? This is why I like making Fatty Twos. You can go back and look at your transactions. Uh, and I'll leave a link to this actual budgeting spreadsheet so that you can check out what I'm actually working in. Um, but yeah, so ComEd comes out, Comcast comes out on the 5th. They both come out on the 5th. And then Sprint comes out mid month, which means I have already paid for it, so I will not have to pay for that until the next budgeting period. I think that is it. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna leave it at 215 because this is my first time being in my home by like myself, so I will be paying for all of the utilities. So I am not sure when they're coming out and I am also not sure how much they're gonna be, so I'm just gonna leave it high because I like that. It's more comforting leaving that money in my checking account just in case. So, travel expenses will be zero. <laughs> Debt, I'm putting 805 because my student loans are coming out like on Saturday, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Chicago boss babes, nothing. Dating, nothing. Parking, nothing. So, that means my expenses are gonna be $2,694 next month. Oh, it is, or this next pay period, not just this month, that's a lot. Uh, I also input what I think my income is gonna be. I usually just put 2,500 um, because it varies. Um, and that should be the only money that is coming in from my paycheck. So hopefully there's some overtime on there. Okay, now what I do, I go in and I clear out the old transactions and I clear out the old income transactions. And then I'm done guys, that's it. And then I just keep updating it as I go. And that is how to update your budget. So it takes very little time. There's no excuses because once you make it, it's like, very easy to update and keep going. And like, I'll look at my calendar, but like it's easy to tell what my calendar is gonna be for the next two weeks because we are on lockdown. So the only entertainment will become, entertainment will be, oh, I just remembered I'm supposed to do a couple of paintings for a friend, so I need to buy supplies. So I'm going to bump up. Where do I want that money to come out of? So I've actually been putting stuff for paintings in Clover because I've been doing some commission pieces. This isn't technically, this is, a special occasion because it's a wedding gift. So, special occasions, changing that category from dating to special occasions, and I'm gonna put, I think, it'll probably cost me about 100, 120 bucks, but I'm gonna try and find some deals, so I'm gonna put 100 bucks. Oh yeah, it's gonna be an expensive two weeks. So, anyway, still, it's nine minutes and 40 seconds right now, so, it is still under 10 minutes to completely update your budget. And then what I do after that is I go in and I just insert every single transaction I have. So it's really easy. I spend less than five minutes a day budgeting and keeping track of my money. So um, holy 
hopefully this shows you that this is not all that difficult to do. Um, and if you have any questions, just hit me up. So thanks for watching. And if this content is the kind of content you like, hit subscribe and I will keep it coming. All right. Thanks guys.